Hi, this is Catherine Rosen with Board Game Geek here at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting here with Oliver Eagelhaut from Eagel Spiele, and he's here to talk about High Fish. So tell me about the game. Okay. Hello, Catherine. Hi. Hello. <laughs> So, um, it looks like we're in a pond of some kind. Yes, this is the sea. Yeah? Ah. And um, it's water cards. Mm -hmm. And um, in the, within there's an island. We also have these shells. Yeah? And it's a game for two to four players, um, aged six years and older. Yeah. It's a nice family game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, the players uh, play in clockwise order. Yeah? And the one to start just turns a card, yeah. And then the next player tu uh, turns a card, yes. Uh -huh. If you want to turn a card with a shell inside, you take the shell and put it on the island, yeah? and then you can switch the card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe a fourth player also turns a card. Yeah. Okay. So then the round is one round is finished. Yeah. And if, if sharks are open, the sharks eat um, the biggest number fish. Yeah. This is going to be this fish. So the shark goes there, eats it, and it goes out of the game. Yeah. And then the highest surviving number fish wins the round. Um, the player who, who turned this card wins this card. The card is worth one point. Okay, each two. card is worth one point, each shell is worth one point. And the player also gets the shells on the sandbank. So, so if there are many shells there, they'll yeah. get all the shells. All the shells, yes. Mm -hmm. So and flipping a card with a shell on it's a little risky because if you don't have the highest card, yeah. then you're going to be giving someone else extra points. If you think you have a good chance to win the round, you, you, you increase um, what is going to be what you can win, yeah? exactly. you know, but it's all also risky because you don't know if you win it. Mm -hmm. So um, the other uh, fishes are turned to ah, down again. So there's a bit of a memory aspect to yes. the game as well. Yes, um, as long as you play, the more you know about the sea. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning you know nothing and playing, keeping on playing, you get more to know. But the sea also gets uh, smaller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The water gets dried mm -hmm. right. from the sun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, the one who won, the player who is the winner, starts the new round. Yeah. So and doing the same thing again. Yes. So each person is flipping a card. Yeah. If you um, find a shark, uh, you have to um, flip another card. I didn't uh, explain In addition this to before. This? Yeah. Ah. But uh, yeah, you know, because you have to find your number fish. Each player has one number fish going um, yes into the final mm -hmm. okay interesting and how, yeah. so how many rounds does it typically take to play um, it's until there's only six uh, water cards left less than six water cards you stop if it's if it's six water cards left two four six or seven you keep on playing yeah but you don't play until the last card you know? and there's also maybe uh, we can make another round um, if you think just make it like this and then we have another card and another card I just want to, to, to uh, there's one funny rule but I have to we have to find an, a second uh, Star Trek flounder yeah maybe like this if it's uh, the situation Star Trek flounder <laughs> yeah it's a Star Trek flounder maybe I the people that. can see it here yeah mm -hmm. you know so um, as I told before, the shark is going to eat the biggest fish, yeah? Mm -hmm. if, if many sharks occur, the smaller um, fish are better to, to win, yeah? If there's no sharks, you win with a, with a big fish, yeah? And this ale is eaten, and then this is the winning fish, yeah? And the player um, who switched it becomes it, but it's a swarm. If it's the same species, you also win the card from the same species. Ah, yeah? so you're getting an extra point, and then you also get the shell yeah. for winning. So this is three points, yeah. And there's one last rule, the, the, small, the smallest fish, the green ones, this was a green one, yeah, and there are five green ones there worth two points, that's all. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So if you're able to win a, a trick with, uh, with a green card, then you've done a good job. Yes. If it's, if it's many sharks coming and you remember the green ones, and especially the high green ones, you can make many points, because if you flip the, the five, the highest uh, green card, um, you win. And then um, it's the spawn thing. The other green ones also come, and then it can be two, four, six points yeah, coming to you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And this happens. 
more often in the middle or in the end of the game when the higher cards are out, then the green ones get stronger. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. So nice, quick little family game. Yes. And yeah, there's maybe I can show uh, the, the different species. There's four species species inside. The trumpet fish we have, and we have the flounders and the eels and the little green ones. Yeah? And of course the sharks. There's seven sharks within the game. Great, thank you so mm -hmm. much. That is high fish from Eagle Spieler.